Hi there, I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm swapping the pickups on my Jazzmaster Ultra, trying to get a better sound out of it. If you have been watching the show, you know I've put a bass cut here, and it, it really works, but um, I still find that the pickups are too weak and too woolly for what I need it uh, to be. It works great. I'm using the the Supro Tremol Verb, one of my, my favorite recording amps, and I'm using the Catalyst by Full Tone as an overdrive. This is a great overdrive that cleans really well. It, it's kind of in between an overdrive, a distortion, and a fuzz. Really great sounding. And this is with uh, the bass normal, so no bass cut, neck pickup. So it almost sounds like a numbucker with a fuzz, but the minute I turn down a little bit of the bass cut... I love all about this Chess Master, except the tone is not really pleasing. It's too dark, too woolly, and not volume enough, so it doesn't work well with my amps and pedals, because it's way too quieter than a normal guitar. I thought on using a boost or an EQ to solve it, but I'm trying to solve the problem on the guitar itself. The bass, is, the bass cut is already a great improvement, but I'll change the pickups for pure vintage 65 Fender Jazzmaster pickups. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show, and if you want to become a patron yourself, I thank you so much, because you'll be helping the channel on Keep On Going, helping me on Keep On Doing These Videos, but you'll also be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week, and a free backing track every month. You just go to the link. Super, super easy. You can also support us and help by contributing to the tip chart on PayPal. And if you're interested in guitar lessons with me, just hit me an email or a direct message via Facebook or Instagram, and we'll deal with it from there. Let's go. So we're on my workbench. Here's the pickups. Let's swap it. First, if you have been watching the show, you know I have to put the capo on the string so I can un un release, release the tension of, the, of each string. And I need to take this damn bridge so I can access the pick card and take the pick card off. This is really a pain. I have to unscrew this bridge here. Okay, first part is off. This is the stupidest thing on, on this guitar, needing to take all of this just to adjust something. Okay, so now the very, very, very important thing is to really focus on what these connections are. So I know I have this, and I'll do it pickup by pickup. So I'll first take the, the noiseless pickup off. Okay. And I'll put the new ones in. So this is a new package, really beautiful. And really needy. I just hope that they're marked like neck and bridge. There surely will be. So there's a, a pink and a blue one. And in the instructions there will probably be 
some medications. So, okay. Same color coding, so blue is neck. Okay, there's a dot here, so I don't even have to. But let me just check if they say something. Basically, what I'll do is I'll set the blue pickup here. Okay. You can see the difference. This has two coils. One is a dummy coil. Can you see it? And so it's the hum cancelling coil and this is the normal coil. I actually like more the noiseless covers, but I'll I'll keep it out. So this is this should be very simple because it's just removing two wires, and I'll do it one at a time so I don't mess up. So I'm removing the black wire from the volume pot, and instantly putting the black wire on the same pot. Okay. Now I'm removing the white wire from the switch here, okay, done, and putting the white wire on the switch. Well, there's actually no reason for it not to work, but you'll never know. So, okay, let's connect the jack. And of course, now we need to connect this. Hey, okay, all working. Great. Simple as simple can be. Now let's do the same for the bridge pickup. And then I have to arrange a way of this being organized but <laughs> let's use the same screws ah okay so this is standing lower because obviously this pickups are bigger uh, taller than than the normal ones so I'll probably need to add something here <clears throat> okay let's do it so Bridge pickup is only coming here. So again, one at a time, so I don't mess it up. Install the pickup first. Remove the black. Solder the black. Okay, black is removed. The greatest thing about this is that you can always go back. It's not a definite change so now remove the red one and put the red one in this case the white one safely installed check it out Let's test it. It is definitely too low. I have to make something about that. Give it a little more suspension. Because as you can see, this is way thicker. So the height needs to be adjusted in at least this, this size. So let me grab a piece of foam.
Let's try it. Let's see if it works. It should be glued on, but I don't want to glue it on. Just want to check it out. Yeah, definitely better. Definitely better. Do the same thing to the bridge pickup. I think it will work. The only reason I don't want to make it definitive, definitive, is because um, I might not like the pickup, so I might want to return them. So I don't want to glue anything to them, and I want to do anything that will mess um, the shape of the guitar, of the pickups, I mean. So I want to be able to, to do it properly if I want to return the pickups. I hope not too, because it's an, a whole lot of work. And these pickups are really inexpensive if you compare it to like Lawler pickups or whatever. So I'll just add two or three screws so I can get the guitar in shape and in place and test it out if it all works. But before I continue, I'll check it out again And as you can see, something is not super right in here. Kind of messy around here. It's not easy to accommodate it. Just adjusting the height of the pickups because it seems to be too buried, so it will be weak. Not working. So as I told you, since I'm just testing if the pickups work for my taste. I won't screw all the pieces in because then if I don't like it I will have to unscrew it all again and I did this a thousand times just to do the bass cut mod and the guitar will start to suffer from that okay more than enough let me store the pickups oh and I have this great foam to use too so if I need I can use it Let's test it. Here I am back in place, pickups put on. I actually like this color, let me test it. So what I'll be doing now for a little while, and you're bearing here with, with me, I'll be testing the pickups height. So I'll need a screwdriver to adjust the height of the pickups and to get it working properly. I can adjust it by eye for the moment so I know the bridge pickup needs to be taller and I'll probably need to put more foam into here for sure so this is the highest it can be let us check no noise no considerable noise <laughs> immediately 1000 times better this is the sound i was looking for i was looking for something like a jaguar 
bigger, but this sounds really great. And now the bass cut is just like a almost a foolish thing, an effect that I will use only very occasionally. Well, I take back what I said, because it's really helpful when you have the a lot of bass. got myself a brand new guitar. I couldn't be happier. This is just unbelievable. Great. I love it. And the bass cut really helps. Hear, hear the, def the difference when I have the catalyst engaged. If I have the bass cut full on, it's, it gets fuzzy and really melty. Which is great if I want that, but with the bass cut I can really tight that. It's such a great guitar. And I still have the auto phase in the middle. the ability of blending that's what I was looking for so there's two um, dials here are volumes for neck and for the bridge pickup so dialing in the out of phase position and really mixing both pickups it's just incredibly great so great <laughs>
Well, that's it, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have liked the show. Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. And it's, I tell you, it's a great feeling being able to solve it by myself. So putting up the pickups, doing the mod on the bass cut that I really love now, these pickups are superb, just unbelievably incredible. Uh, I have a new guitar with 100 and something euros that I spent on a new set of pickups. And if I sell my pickups, I'll probably get uh, the money for this ones too. So really great. I love it. Perfect guitar, new guitar. And I did it by myself, which is amazing because I just learned how to solder during the pandemic. I taught myself how to solder and that's so great to be able to solve a problem that I used to have. Thank you so much. You know, if you want to become a patron, you know what to do. Just go to the link, follow the steps, and you'll be getting early access to episodes of free video lesson every week and a free backing track every month. And of course, my huge thank you. If you're interested in guitar lessons or vocal lessons with me, just hit me an email or a direct message via Instagram or Facebook, and we'll deal with it from there. You can also support the channel by contributing to the tip chart and leaving your thumbs up, subscribing, whatever you can do. It's always welcome and it always helps the channel. Bye-bye and looking forward to read your comments. See you next week. Mm -hmm.